The Secret Lives of Baba Seji's Wives, Lola Shunian's debut novel published in 2010, delves into the intricate lives of multiple women in a polygamous marriage set in contemporary Nigeria. The book explores the complexities inherent in such relationships and received critical acclaim, garnering nominations for prestigious literary prizes like the Nigeria Prize for Literature, the ANANDDC Ken Sarawaiwa Prize, and the long list of the Orange Prize for Fiction in 2011. Both critics and general readers have responded positively to the secret lives of Baba Seji's wives. At the center of the story is Baba Seji, an intriguing character who serves as the patriarch of the family. He is overweight, prone to flatulence, and exhibits chauvinistic tendencies. Baba Seji has two children with his first wife, Aya Seji, who proudly claims her position as the first and most significant wife, often asserting her dominance over the others. Wife number two, Aya Tope, is more submissive and has three children, allowing Aya Seji to wield power over her. Aya Femi, the third wife, is characterized by materialism and frequently teams up with Aya Seji to exert control over Aya Tope. Despite this unconventional dynamic, everyone in the family finds a way to coexist harmoniously until the arrival of the fourth wife, Bolano. Bolano stands apart from the other wives. She is a university graduate and possesses a modern and progressive outlook. Unlike the other wives, Bolano does not have any children. Her decision to marry into this union stems from her own personal motivations, as is the case for all the wives. Bolano's mother vehemently objects to her daughter's choice to marry someone like Baba Seji, but she is unable to prevent her from making her own decision. Bolano's strength and assertion of female autonomy in making this choice are evident. Baba Seji, who is illiterate, is solely interested in siring children with Bolano to validate his fertility and attractiveness as he seeks a new, younger wife. While it may be challenging to sympathize with an unlikable character such as Baba Seji, the trials and tribulations caused by his other wives make it possible to view him with some measure of empathy. The Secret Lives of Baba Seji's Wives explores the complex dynamics within a polygamous marriage, shedding light on the strength and agency of the female characters. Despite the unlikable nature of some of the characters, the novel captivates readers with its nuanced portrayal of relationships, societal expectations, and individual autonomy. Upon Bolano's arrival, Baba Seji becomes increasingly desperate to impregnate her swiftly. However, as time passes without any signs of pregnancy, he grows frustrated and questions her worth to him. In their limited perspective, it can only be Bolano's fault, and they believe that women have a single duty to perform, which she is failing at. In an attempt to address the situation, Baba Seji's friend, teacher, suggests seeking medical assistance to determine the cause of her infertility. The men in their social circle, including family and friends, all share the belief that women have a specific role to fulfill, and Bolano's inability to do so intensifies their judgment of her. To complicate matters further for Bolano, she struggles to grasp the intricacies of Baba Seji's polygamous household. The other wives withhold secrets and keep her at a distance, preventing her from fully entering their inner circle. She even lacks her own armchair since she has not yet proven her worth by becoming pregnant. The reader is left wondering why someone like Bolano would choose to lead a life under such circumstances. This confusion serves as a crucial element in the novel's plot and character development. Unbeknownst to the reader, Bolano carries the weight of an unresolved sexual trauma from her teenage years, which she has not forgiven herself for. This past experience leads her to believe that she does not deserve anything better than the life she currently leads. Despite her education and potential opportunities, she sees this existence as her only option. Bolano consistently attributes her dissatisfaction to external factors, failing to take ownership of her own power and agency. Similarly, the other wives find themselves in Baba Seji's circle due to their own histories of trauma and pain. They all bear the scars of past events, which society has convinced them leave no room for better alternatives. It is their self-imprisonment that ultimately leads to the downfall of all four wives, even if Bolano can be partially blamed for how it all began. Interestingly, it is the quiet and unassuming Aya Tope who engages in an affair and cheats on Baba Seji. Finding some degree of sexual satisfaction outside the household, she does not prioritize dominating the family dynamics because it holds little significance to her personally. 
It is revealed that Bolanil entered into the marriage out of necessity, but her true fulfillment lies elsewhere. This revelation adds an intriguing layer to the story. Surprisingly, it is discovered that the children in the novel have different fathers, much to Baba Seji's astonishment. He realizes that Aya Tope is not the only unfaithful wife, and it is actually his own infertility that prevents Bolanil from getting pregnant despite her faithfulness. However, Baba Seji does not reject or abandon these children. To him, they are family, and he embraces them as his own. This showcases a compelling evolution of his character. Eventually, Bolanil finds the strength to leave the household as she rediscovers her own power and her ability to heal from past traumas. While the secret lives of Baba Seji's wives does not explicitly make political statements, there is a clear feminist undertone throughout the narrative. The book conveys a sense that African women, regardless of their social class, have better alternatives available to them than the confined lives they may find themselves in. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.